and, and like you said, you know, you got to pick your fight. I've picked my fight. My thing is the my my thing is the banking. Um, I can't do it alone. I need you know everybody in this room, you know, times a hundred to to scatter out and go all these different directions and and fight back against all the different areas like the education. Uh, you know, what would education be if we were to completely wipe out the Department of Education? Better. That, that's what I'm talking about. You know, most federal laws have circumvented states' rights, and that has got to change. You know, what the federal government is allowed to do is set the Constitution. I think it's um, our first article, section eight, eight and nine. Um, they've used the, uh, the Commerce Clause uh, to say that they can touch anything. And that all came from a case back in Kansas in the 30s yeah. where a farmer Everybody was told, uh, you know, if you grow your own wheat and make your own bread, that's going to affect interstate commerce because you won't be buying it from another state. Well, at last count, before Sonia Sotomayor was there, um, the present Supreme Court had said that they would rule in the opposite direction of that uh, six to three. I don't know what it would be now, but we've got to we've got to draft lawyers. We've got to draft constitutional lawyers to be able to bring these suits and bring these challenges. You know, that was another thing that I had a problem with the Republican group is because the meeting was full of lawyers, but they they don't want to do anything. You know, I'm not not unless they're getting paid. Plus, they don't want to risk. They don't want most people don't want the risk. They're more about the party than the people or the Constitution. That, so, uh, thank you for your service. Uh, you. So, the, the, the third party strategy always has merit because it shows dedication. But we've seen before that third parties uh, never succeed in their objective. The issue right now is not D's versus R's. The issue is progressives versus a conservative point of view. Right, absolutely. If there's Republicans I wouldn't vote for an event because they don't have my philosophy. And I'm not changing your campaign strategies, but you have to look at it from the other two camps, not D's and R's. Uh, I love you. I love everything you said. Thank if you, I was sir. your campaign manager, the only thing I let you say on the stage is, we got to follow the Constitution. That's not constitutional. This isn't constitutional. Every piece that you said, they're breaking the Constitution. You cannot take this message. We're here because we want to hear you, and it's it's great. But you you can't carry that through the state. It you wouldn't matter whether you were a Democrat or Republican. You can't carry that. But you can carry, we have to follow the Constitution. So, I, God bless you. Well, that's what I plan on doing. But, but I mean, not all these, not all these points. Don't leave. Well, well, but this, well, this, yeah. this speech was not designed for a crowd on the bullhorn. This was, this was, just, this was for you guys because I know you're already here. You're already interested. You already know a lot. I, I want to expand on that and, and and show you where I think we need to go. <laughs> Doug, just to echo that point, because um, I'm, I'm with you on all this stuff, too, and I think a lot of people in this room are, but let's face it, Bill Clinton got elected because of Ross Perot. He ran a third-party candidacy that had a lot of merit to it, but third parties don't win. And I'm here, and sometimes I sit at home and wonder, how can we take back control of the Republican Party from these progressives, because you're right, John McCain is just like Barack Obama like. There's no difference between him and Barack. We would have done TARP, he'd still be raping the Federal Reserve. You know, there's, I, well, I, let, I, let, I wish you could let win, me, let, me tell you, you let me tell you guys something. I have left it still open. It's still not set in stone. I have left, left it open to where I could run a dual party ticket, Republican slash Constitution, which would also force me to run against the other Republicans in their primary. So, you know, I don't have an end game strategy yet, but it's a possibility that I might do a dual party if I. If but I think that's, I'll tell you, that this is my first meeting here. That's one of my goals would be 
let's get those rascals out of the Republican Party and get back to the yeah. I, I would love to be able to do that, but my experience with this state's party, I, I'm one, it, well, I'm I know one man behind, screaming at a well, hundred. I know we're behind the eight ball anyway because Republicans are so weak in this yeah. in this state. Yeah. But none of us were involved a year ago. No, we're here now. Right. We're bringing people. Right. You know, right. And but, that's what I'd really like to help you do is to get these bastards out. I'm going to talk privately later. Yeah. 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 Do not, no, okay. not let's, uh, let's try and keep it. Remember, folks, what we try to do here, we pay respect to the person out here that's speaking. We let them speak. You raise your hand. You get called upon. Try not to bloviate because we run out of time. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> One more, Doug? Yeah. If seated as our representative in the House, will you present to us what the lobbyists want and who they are, what the handshakes are, and what these senior representatives are offering you for bribes? We need to know this information so that we can stand on these people. This will be edited out. <laughs> this is a, this will be edited out of my YouTube. Slide. Trust me, you will know everything that goes on. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.